Imagine a world where the streets of New York, London, and Shanghai are submerged in water, where island nations are lost forever, and the Arctic is unrecognizable. It may sound like a science fiction movie, but it could become a reality if the ice sheet of Greenland melts. Hello, and welcome to our channel. Today we're going to take a closer look at a subject that may seem far-fetched, but could have serious implications for the future of our planet. We're talking about the melting of Greenland's ice. As the world's largest island, Greenland is covered by an immense ice sheet that holds enough water to raise sea levels by 20 feet. But what if all that ice were to melt? The consequences would be catastrophic, affecting not only coastal cities, but also global weather patterns. This is not just a possibility for the distant future, but a reality that we may be facing sooner than we think. Are we prepared for the melting of Greenland? Keep watching our video to learn more about the potential impact and what we can do to mitigate it. Greenland, the massive island located between the Arctic and Atlantic Oceans, is a land of incredible natural splendor and diversity. Despite its remote location and harsh climate, it is home to an estimated 56,000 inhabitants who have managed to make a life for themselves in this rugged and beautiful land. The island is categorized by an awe-inspiring landscape of glaciers, fjords, and mountains that offer a glimpse into the raw power and majesty of nature. It is truly a place of contrast where towering ice formations meet the rolling ocean waves and where ancient glaciers give way to lush green valleys. Unfortunately, this natural beauty is currently under threat from a very real and pressing issue, global warming. The island's ice sheet is melting at an alarming rate, and scientists warn that if the entire ice sheet were to melt, it would have severe consequences for the planet. The primary cause of this melting is human activity, specifically the burning of fossil fuels and deforestation. These activities have led to rising global temperatures, which in turn have caused the ice sheet to melt at an unprecedented rate. The melting of Greenland's ice sheet has far-reaching implications. It would cause sea levels to rise, which would threaten coastal communities and cities around the world. The impact of sea level rise is a pressing concern for many around the globe, and it's a topic that demands our attention. One of the most significant contributors to this phenomenon is the melting of the Greenland ice sheet. According to estimates, if the entire ice sheet were to melt, sea levels would rise by a staggering 7 meters, or 23 feet. This would have devastating effects on coastal cities and infrastructure, as well as low-lying islands and small island nations. Many of the world's largest and most iconic cities would be at risk of flooding if sea levels were to rise that much. Cities like New York, London, and Shanghai would be particularly vulnerable, with entire neighborhoods and districts at risk of being submerged. The economic and social consequences of such a disaster would be enormous. But it's not just the world's major cities that would be affected. Small island nations such as the Maldives and the Marshall Islands would be at risk of complete submergence. This would displace the entire population of these countries and threaten their cultural heritage. These small island nations are already facing the impacts of rising sea levels, and with the melting of Greenland ice sheet, the situation could worsen. A rising sea level would also increase the frequency and severity of storm surges, making coastal areas more vulnerable to damage from hurricanes and typhoons. This would have a major impact on the livelihoods of people who depend on coastal industries such as fishing, tourism, and shipping. Additionally, a rising sea level would also have a significant impact on climate and weather patterns. The impact of the melting of the Greenland ice sheet on global climate and weather patterns cannot be overstated. Not only would the release of cold, fresh water into the North Atlantic Ocean disrupt the Gulf Stream, which plays a crucial role in regulating temperatures in Europe and North America, but it would also have a ripple effect on a variety of other systems. The Arctic ecosystem, for example, would be severely impacted by the loss of ice cover. Animals and plants that depend on sea ice for survival would be put at risk, and this could have cascading effects on the food chain. Indigenous peoples who rely on hunting and fishing for their livelihoods would also be affected. Beyond the Arctic, the melting of the Greenland ice sheet would also affect ocean currents and circulation, which play a critical role in the Earth's climate system. These changes could lead to more extreme weather events, such as droughts and floods, as well as sea level rise that would threaten coastal communities around the world. 
Besides, it's worth noting, the melting of Greenland's ice sheet is already happening. It has been predicted that if the ice sheet were to melt completely, global sea levels would rise by about 7 meters, or 23 feet. This would have devastating consequences for coastal cities and low-lying areas around the world. The melting of Greenland's ice sheet is not just an environmental issue. It has severe economic and social consequences. The cost of rebuilding and protecting coastal cities and infrastructure would be enormous. According to a study by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, the economic damage caused by a sea level rise alone could reach trillions of dollars annually. In addition to the economic costs, the melting of Greenland's ice sheet would also have a significant impact on wildlife and biodiversity. The Arctic region is home to a wide variety of unique and fragile ecosystems, including tundra, boreal forests, and ice sheets. The melting of the ice sheet would lead to the loss of important habitats for polar bears, walruses, and other Arctic animals, as well as the loss of valuable resources for indigenous communities. Furthermore, the melting of Greenland's ice sheet could also have a significant impact on global weather patterns. As the ice sheet melts, it would change the way that heat and moisture are distributed around the planet. This could lead to changes in precipitation and temperature, which could exacerbate droughts, floods, and other extreme weather events. The Arctic amplification effect is another important aspect to consider. The Arctic is warming at twice the rate of the rest of the planet, which is causing the ice sheet to melt at an accelerated rate. This is having a feedback effect on global warming, as the loss of ice is reducing the Earth's albedo, the ability of the planet to reflect sunlight back into space, which is causing the planet to absorb more heat. Plus, the melting of Greenland's ice sheet could also trigger irreversible changes in the climate, as we have already discussed. Now let's discuss the impact of the melting of the Greenland ice sheet on human populations. The melting of the Greenland ice sheet would have a significant impact on human populations. Coastal communities would be at risk of displacement and would have to relocate to higher ground, which could lead to a number of economic and social challenges. For example, in regions that depend on tourism or fishing, the loss of these industries could lead to significant economic losses and unemployment. Additionally, the potential for conflicts over resources and land could also arise as people are forced to move and compete for resources in new areas. These conflicts could be further exacerbated by limited resources and overcrowding in new areas, leading to increased social and economic instability. Furthermore, the rising sea levels caused by the melting of the Greenland ice sheet could also lead to the displacement of millions of people living in low-lying coastal regions around the world. These populations would be forced to abandon their homes and livelihoods, which could lead to a humanitarian crisis on a global scale. Additionally, the economic costs of relocating these populations and rebuilding infrastructure in new areas would be astronomical. As a result of these potential ramifications, it is important to consider the findings of recent studies on the possibilities of Greenland melting. The thought of Greenland melting is a daunting one and a new study has brought this possibility to the forefront of our minds. According to the research, if all of Greenland's ice were to melt, it would be facing a catastrophic rise in sea levels of approximately 20 feet. This figure is higher than other recent forecasts, and it's a stark reminder of the dire consequences of climate change. The study, which relied on satellite measurements instead of computer modeling, predicts that this melting will happen, but the timing is uncertain. The researchers estimate that it could happen in as little as 100 years, or it could take as long as 150 years. Regardless of when it happens, sea level rise is a reality we are facing, and it's growing at an alarming rate due to the trajectory of the climate. The melting of Greenland's ice would have a ripple effect on the entire planet. Coastal cities would be submerged, islands would disappear, and billions of people would be displaced. The economic costs would be staggering, and the loss of biodiversity would be devastating. It's a grim picture, but it's one we must confront if we hope to prevent it from becoming a reality. Given the dire consequences of the melting of Greenland's ice, it's crucial that we take immediate action to mitigate and adapt to the effects of climate change. To effectively mitigate the melting of the Greenland ice sheet, it is vital to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and implement coastal protection and infrastructure adaption measures. One of the primary ways to reduce emissions is through investing in renewable energy sources such as solar, wind, and hydropower, as well as increasing energy efficiency through measures like building insulation and the use of energy-efficient appliances and lighting. 
Another important step is to promote sustainable transportation options, such as electric cars, buses, and trains, and encouraging the use of public transportation, biking, and walking. Coastal protection and infrastructure adaptation measures are also crucial to reducing the impacts of sea level rise on coastal communities. This can include building seawalls, elevating buildings, and constructing other forms of coastal defenses. Additionally, it's important to create and implement building codes, regulations, and guidelines that ensure new construction is resilient to sea level rise and flooding. In addition to these mitigation efforts, it is important to focus on building resilience in affected communities. Improving access to education, healthcare, and other services can help communities to better cope with the impacts of climate change. Community-based adaptation programs can also help communities to better understand the risks associated with climate change and to develop strategies for coping with those risks. Disaster risk reduction measures, such as early warning systems and evacuation plans, can also help to minimize the impacts of extreme weather events. Overall, mitigating the melting of the Greenland ice sheet requires a comprehensive and coordinated effort from governments, organizations, and individuals around the world. By working together, we can take the necessary steps to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, protect vulnerable communities, and build a more resilient future for all. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. We hope you have a better understanding of the potential impact of the melting of Greenland's ice sheet. Remember, this is a pressing issue that affects us all. Let's take action together to mitigate it. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button and subscribe for more engaging content. Once again, thanks for your support.